Never argue with an idiot, he will take you down at his level and he will beat you with experience. Welcome to the Academy of Photography. Today I'm going to answer the question, what is the difference between AI Focus and AI Servo? AI stands for Artificial Intelligence and it's uh, the camera manufacturer's system of uh, measuring focus. So basically how the camera focuses. We have three types of focusing. One is one shot focusing, one is I, AI Artificial Intelligence Focus and one is AI Servo. The one shot is pretty straightforward you lift your camera you point to the subject you half press the button the camera will measure the distance it, it will focus on the subject and there you go you take the shot in terms of the ai focus and the ai servo that's a different story now they are a little bit tricky and to be honest with you it's very difficult to master them the main difference between ai focus and ai servo is that ai focus you focus on a subject the camera locks in the focus and if the subject moves the camera will re-measure the focus and basically the focus moves with the subject now it's all good in theory but in practice it's not that simple so i'm trying to demonstrate now uh, how ai focuses i'm going to focus on the camera on yourself okay you hear the beep now I'm going to slightly move towards you and the camera keeps beeping and I can feel my lens that focuses. Sorry, I just pressed a couple of times. I took a couple of shots. I hope you can hear the beep. Basically, this is AI focus. Now, one thing I want to mention about the AI focus is in theory, you lock in the subject and if you recompose, the camera will not refocus. So it's very important. When you focus on the subject, the camera will stay with the subject. If you move the camera in a different direction, you don't have a subject anymore, camera does not refocus. We, with the AI servo, things are very simple. The camera will try to focus whatever it's in the focus point. Uh, the camera will try to pick up the subject. It's not going to lock in the focus, you don't hear a beep. The camera will be in a, constant move, in a constant movement, it will constantly try to achieve focus or whatever. So this is for fast action. Now, you have to be really skilled to capture really fast action. I've done uh, many tries and to be honest with you, it's not that simple. You need a very high speed camera with a lot of frames per second in order to capture. And uh, to be honest with you, I would recommend not only one focus point but several focus points but that's a different discussion so ai servo is camera will constant look for the focus so i'm gonna do the same exercise again i'm focusing on on the camera that is filming me basically it's you i'm gonna move the camera moves there, it, there is no refocusing uh, with the beep it's just a constant focus of the lens i can feel it in my hand the moment I switch the camera to a different location, the camera will refocus immediately. I hope that's very clear. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot. So just to recap, servo is for constant moving subject and the AI focus is for a stagnant or a fixed subject that is starting to move. One other thing I forgot to mention is that I have tried to play with AI focus and to be honest with you, it's not reliable. So even if you focus on something, it's, if it moves really fast, you're not going to be able to keep up with it. So you need a good camera and you need a lot of practice. And one other thing, different cameras, they measure focus differently. They have different systems and they will have different performances. So shooting moving subject is not that simple, especially if the, uh, the subject is coming towards you. That means the focus point is changing the distance the camera needs to measure and measure and measure if the subject is very fast it's very difficult to actually keep up with it if the subject is moving in front of you and parallel to you and it's not coming to you and roughly the focus distance remains the same that's a different thing that would be much easier to achieve i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching until i see you next time i wish you happy shooting thank you very much